Best regard, my name is Juan Jose Trujillo Cardoso and today we're going to talk about an article named The Fourier Transform and its Application in Image Processing from Quito, Ecuador in December 2008. But before talking about the article, I think it's important to know the meaning of the Fourier Transform. In simple words, it could be said that it's a second way of seeing things, but in this case, things are waves or even images. If a recording is made in a specific environment, it can be detailed that the sound waves of the recording are grouped by each independent sound that is captured within it. I say this to take into account that each entity that makes a sound within a recording generates a wave that when superimposed on another that is generated by a different entity will end up designing the final wave of the recording, a more complex wave than the previous ones. And that wave is what we will hear if we reproduce what was recorded. The Fourier series comes into play when we want to know what simpler functions make up a complex function such as recording an environment where many sounds converge. It's important to say that the Fourier series decomposes a function into a sum of sine and cosine with different frequencies and amplitudes. And the Fourier transform, what it does is decompose a signal into the frequency that conforms it. Of course, all this through mathematics. This is to have a different way of seeing a signal that is normally expressed in the time domain. Only that with the Fourier transform, the signal is observed in the domain of its frequency, thus allowing to solve a problem that will be very complex of assimilate or understand in the domain of time. Well, if we relate all the above with what the article says both in its introduction and in its summary, it can be found that what this article seeks is to show the mathematical foundation and the algorithms and the practical application in the processing of images of the transform of Fourier. The importance of this article lies in the fact that it explains about an algorithm to calculate complex Fourier series called Fast Fourier Transform, and that thanks to current technology, its application has been extended to different fields such as applied mechanics, biomedicine, instrumentation, among others since they all have digital signal processing in common. The article also shows us the different phases, fundamentals and development of the creation of a software in MATLAB to be able to apply these fundamentals to a function entered by the user. I see that it was necessary to have programming knowledge to be able to build such software. In the same way, the discrete Fourier transformation is evidenced in one dimension with the description of its variables and in its extension to two dimensions that I think it will be used for image processing as we can see on the next page. And finally, this article ends with the conclusions result of the experimentation, investigation and application of the subject. Thanks for watching.